Hello everyone, my name is Prajwal Chauhan and I'm working as a legal intern with Lexis and Company for the month of July. The topic for this video is Civil Law versus Criminal Law. Civil and Criminal Law are two broad and separate entities of law with separate sets of laws and punishment. Examples of Criminal Law include cases of burglary, assault, battery and cases of murder. Civil Law applies to cases of negligence or malpractice. Now, let's try and compare civil law and criminal law based on different factors. First is definition. Civil law deals with the disputes between individuals, organizations or between the two in which com compensation is awarded to the victim. Criminal law, on the other hand, is the body of law that deals with crime and the legal punishment of crime, criminal offenses. Burden of proof. Preponderance of evidence. The burden of proof falls on the planter. One must produce evidence beyond the balance of probability. Beyond a reasonable doubt, burden of proof is always on the state slash government in the criminal cases. Examples Landlord tenant disputes, divorce proceedings, child custody proceedings, property disputes, personal injury, etc., comes under civil law. Theft, assault, robbery, trafficking in controlled substances, murder, etc. comes under criminal law. Types of punishment Civil litigation usually involves some type of compensation for injuries or damages as well as disposition of property and other disputes. On the other hand, a guilty defendant is punished by incarceration or fines or in exceptional cases the death penalty. Crimes are divided into two broad classes, felonies and misdemeanors. In in civil law, case is filed by private party uh, and in criminal law, case is filed by government slash state. In civil law, appeal can be done by either party, but in criminal law, appeal can only be done by a defendant. Now let's take a look at difference in cases. In civil law, a case commences when a complaint is filed by a party, which may be an individual, an organization, a company or a corporation against another party. The party complaining is called the plaintiff and the party responding is called the defendant and the process is called litigation. In civil litigation, the plaintiff is asking the court to order the defendant to remedy a wrong, often in the form of monetary expenses to the plaintiff. In contrast, in criminal law, the case is filed by the government usually referred to as the state and represented by a prosecutor against a defendant. An individual can never file criminal charges against another person. An individual may report a crime, but only the government can file criminal charges in court. Crimes are activities punishable by government and are divided into two broad classes of seriousness. Felonies having a possible sentence of more than one year incarceration and misdemeanors have a possible sentence of one year or less incarceration. One of the notable difference between civil law and criminal law is the punishment. In case of criminal law, a person found guilty is punished by incarceration in a prison, a fine or in some occasions death penalty. Whereas in case of civil law, the losing party has to reimburse the planter, the amount of loss which is determined by the judge and is called punitive damage. A criminal litigation is more serious than civil litigation in that criminal defendants have more rights and protection than a civil defendant. Burden of Proof In case of criminal law, the burden of proof lies with the government in order to prove that the defendant is guilty. On the other hand, in case of civil law, the burden of proof first lies with the plaintiff and then with the defendant to refute the evidence provided by the plaintiff. In case of civil litigation, if the judge or jury believes that there are more than 50% of the evidence favoring the plaintiff, then plaintiff wins, which is very low as compared to 99% proof for criminal law. In case of criminal law, defendant is not declared guilty unless there are approximately more than 99% proofs against him. Now, there is a difference in how the system works in both of the laws. Let's take a look at them. One can say that criminal law deals with looking after public interest. It involves punishing and rehabilitating offenders and protecting the society. The police and prosecutors are hired by the government to put the criminal law into effect. Public funds are used to pay for these services. 
and suppose you are the victim of a crime you report it to the police and then it is their duty to investigate the matter and find the suspect in most cases if a charge has been properly presented and if there is evidence supporting it the government not the person who complains of the incident prosecute it in the court this is called a system of public prosecution on the other hand civil law is about private disputes between individuals or between an individual or an organization or between organization civil law deals with the harm loss or injury to one party or to the other a defendant in a civil case is found liable or not liable for damages while in a criminal case defendant may be found guilty or not thanks a lot for listening patiently please like share and subscribe to this channel